Hello there, this is Dawn from Dawn's Creative Chalet. Long time no see, guys. Um, new catalog for Stampin' Up! is out for the 2013-2014 year, and it is beautiful. Lots of great things in there. So today, what I wanted to show you is our clay. Um, I have to admit, I was a little bit skeptical about the clay. Uh, it looked messy, but honestly, it's a lot easier to use than what I thought. It is very user-friendly. Use the clay buttons and the little flowers here, which are just, they're gorgeous, aren't they? They're fun. Um, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. First of all, I wanted to show you in the new catalog where you can find all the goodies. If you turn to page 167, whoops. And uh, here's the Simply Pressed Clay, it's $6.95, and it comes packaged like so, and it's resealable, so you don't have to use it all at once. And quite honestly, I think that this is going to go a long way. Um, I've used quite a bit of it already, and I think one bag of it will do you good for a little while. There are also the cute, um, what do you want to call these little buggers? The molds. That's the word I was looking for, the molds, that you can either make the buttons or the cute little flowers in. And I will show you those. Get that out of the way. So here are the buttons. They are so darn cute. Now, if you notice, on some of them, they have a little, what I want to call a lip around them. Where's the real little button? I think. There we go. So there are the buttons right there. How cute is that? And by the way, the clay is white, so I have not colored these at all. And then here are the flowers. Here's the big flower. You can see I still had a little bit of coloring in my mold, so that one got a little pretty. And there are the flowers. Very, very cute. And when they dry, uh, they're very lightweight. They are a little bulky, but no more than a button, really. But actually, I think they're lighter than an actual button. Here are what the, um, the molds look like. They're a silicone type of mold, so they pop out really easily. This here are some of the, yeah, these are the buttons. I've left this sit overnight, so it's been, oh, maybe... 10 to 12 hours since they've been in the mold and look how easily they pop out just like that now if you get the little what I call the lips around them I'm just taking my snips and just trimming them down really easy peasy so I wanted to show you how you can color these little guys um, there are a lot of options quite honestly first of all let's see here I'll show you this one. This one here I colored just using my ink pad. Basically direct to the pad and just tapped it up against the ink. And depending on how dark you want it, adding more ink or not quite as much, you can also use your aqua painter if you want to water it down a little bit, move the ink a little bit to color those little guys up. Just like so. Okay, now be prepared, you're going to get a little inky, and that's fun. I also try the Aqua Painter and doing what I do when I do a little bit of um, watercoloring, so to speak, with my Aqua Painter, and it was a little lighter than I wanted it to be, but it depends on the look that you want, too. So that is one option, actually two, either your ink pad or with the Aqua Painter. And then also, I took this flower and I used the broad tip on the Stampin' Right marker. By the way, this color is Pool Party. I bet you can't guess why I picked that, huh? Matches the old nails here. But anyway, just direct with the marker and giving them some color. Very easy peasy. So that's another option. And also, I heat embossed um, with the pool party embossing powder and my heat tool. And that's kind of pretty too. So that's another option for you. You can actually heat emboss. Just really don't overdo it. Just watch. 
uh, your project while you're heat embossing it. But it didn't react as far as any bubbling when I was heating it. So just another way you can color them. Also, on this one, I used the crystal effects and some of the iridescent ice that we have, which is uh, not, <laughs> this is something I, I try not to use often and not that I don't love sparkle because I'm a sparkly kind of girl, but it is messy. I mean, you breathe and it goes all over. So I'm really careful about using this stuff. Anywho, I used the crystal effects on it and before it was dry, I dipped it into the iridescent ice. And so that is kind of a cool look too. And I also added before I added the iridescent ice, I took my aqua painter and a little bit of the ink from my ink pad and just push a little bit of ink around to give it a little bit of color, just enough. I love the way that sparkles. I hope that picks up in the camera there. Also, the messiest way <laughs> is um, I took the reinker, the pool party reinker, and I just grabbed a little ball. And as you can see, this is going to go a long way, this little bit. But I put, I would say, two drops of reinker. And this is very concentrated, so you don't want to add a lot, and you don't want it all over you and everybody around you. But what I did do is I took a little baggie, or you can wear rubber gloves. I did find if you do wear rubber gloves to use your embossing buddy and just dab your fingers with it before you handle the clay. Otherwise, you're going to have it sticking to your gloves. Trust me, I know. Anyway, I'll go ahead and knead it in the bag. And then you have colored your clay, which is very cool. And a softer look than, say, using your ink from your ink pad or with marker there. And just to show you quickly, I'm going to take a little bit of my clay and press it down in there. Oh, there goes my telephone. Okay. And there you have it, basically. We're going to go ahead and make a little button. And just make sure it's pushed in there. And you want it to be level and not bulking, so to speak, because that way it'll lay flat when you use it on your project, whether it be a 3D project or on a card. What I'll do if I'm in a hurry, and it sounds kind of crazy, but I'll put these molds into the freezer for maybe a half hour to an hour, and it kind of helps to firm it up if I'm in a hurry. But to show you guys, if you're really careful, see, it just, I always suggest that you give it a little bit of time to actually sit first. I seem to have better luck that way, but um, you might want to try it the other way if you're in a real big hurry. But anyway, that is what our clay is all about. It's a lot of fun. Make sure to go ahead and uh, visit my online store to grab the clay and the molds and maybe even some markers, reinkers, and ink pads and go to town and make some beautiful little 3D items your cards and projects. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you'd like some more information on this project or other inspiring creations, go ahead and visit dawnscreativechalet.com. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye and get inky.